Now, let, let us look into the next problem in projection of planes. We have a question here, a similar question to the previous one, but with differences with respect to positioning. Now, let us read the question. A rectangular plate of negligible thickness of size 35 into 20 mm has one of its shorter edges in VP and that edge is inclined at 40 degrees to HP. Draw the top view if its front view is a square of side 20 mm. So let us look at the criteria which are to be satisfied to obtain the solution for the problem. The first one is a shape, rectangular plate of negligible thickness of size, dimensions. Second criteria is 20, 35 into 20 mm. Next one, resting edges in VP, that is it's resting in VP, more precisely, shorter edge in VP. <clears throat> the same edge is inclined at 40 degrees to HP and the top view, draw the top view if it's front view, the front view is a square of side 20 mm. Front view is a square of side 20 mm. So let us look into the solution now and we satisfy the criteria to obtain the solution. So we have the x, y, vp and hp. So now here instead of resting on hp, it is resting on vp. So we have the true shape of the rectangle to be drawn in the front view rather than the top view. So let us draw the front view of the rectangle. thirty five mm into twenty mm right yeah again thirty five mm and finally twenty mm So we are placing the true shape of the rectangle in the front view as uh, touching the vertical plane. So let us name the points now. Let's call this point as let's say A dash, B dash, C dash and we have D dash. Looking into the dimensions, we have <coughs> 35 mm over here. and 20 mm over here. So if it's resting flat on the uh, on the vertical plane, its top view will be a line along the xy line. So let us draw the projection lines and get the top view of the same. That is the top view on the horizontal plane. So this point here becomes C bracket D, whereas this point here becomes B bracket A. So we are satisfied three criteria, that is rectangular plate, dimensions 35 into 20 mm in VP, that is resting in VP. Now let us satisfy the next two criteria in the second position. One of its shorter edges is in VP and the front view is a square side 20 mm. So usually what we would do if the lamina is resting on VP, we would be rotating and drawing the top view over here, but rather we'll be drawing the front view and then we will be drawing the top view.
what we have here is a square <clears throat> so again the points are the same we have the a dash b dash c dash and d dash and this is a square of size of side 20 mm so now we do not know the angle of inclination of the lamina to the vertical plane but what we do know is that the front view looks like a square so let us draw the projection lines i will assume that the point I'll assume that the edge D to C, the shorter edge D dash to C dash is the one which is on the vertical plate. The other edge A dash to B dash is moved in front. If we were to assume that A dash and B dash is on the on the vertical plane, that is also fine because the solution go can go in two different directions. So I'll draw the projection line here and over here. So this becomes my C bracket D. Now I shall measure this distance. C bracket D to B bracket A. Keeping it at this particular point. At C D I shall cut the arc. Now I have gotten the point. B bracket A. <clears throat> so joining this. I shall get the top view. Thus, you can measure the angle. You can measure the angle. I believe the angle somewhere theta I have gotten as 54 degrees. So as mentioned to you, the specific angle value is 55 degrees. But uh, this angle I have gotten as 54 uh, however, 1 to 2 percent of error can be accepted, especially in case of manual drafting. This particular solution with respect to first and second position is similar to the previous problem, problem number 5. However, the only Im uh, difference being it is a mirror image of the problem number 5. However, there is a vast amount of change in the third position. So, let us look in the third position now. One of its shorter edges in VP with that edge inclined at 40 degrees to HP. Now, as per our solution, D dash to C dash is the edge which is touching the vertical plane. Now, that particular edge has to be inclined at 40 degrees to HP. So, what I will do, I shall take a point and from there on, I will draw the 40 degree line. So either you can take the 40 degree line from this way or from this way. I am taking the 40 degree line, angled line from this point. So I have 40 degrees. Now D dash to C dash should be on the X on this particular 40 degree line. So I will take an appropriate point which is my D dash. And I will be recreating the second position front view in the third position front view. So D dash to C dash which is my 20 mm. I shall locate the point and I shall get the point C dash. Now to locate the point B dash and A dash let us use the protractor again and locate the 90 degree lines. And again measure 20 mm or my A dash to 
d dash so a dash to d dash i shall cut the arc and get a point which is my a dash again i shall cut the point and get b dash so thus completing this I've gotten my front view. So let us draw the projections and satisfy the criteria in the question. Draw the top view. If it's front view, the square of side 20 mm. So let us draw the top view now. So from each of these points, we shall draw the projection line A dash. B dash. C dash and finally the D dash. B bracket A. From here I have drawn another position line. But C, C bracket D dash is not needed since it is along the XY line. So I have my point A dash and A meeting here. So this is my final A. Then I have my point B and B dash meeting here. So this is my final B. C and C dash are meeting here, so this is my final C and D dash and D are meeting here, so this is my final D. So join all these four points with proper visible lines and we shall get our front view, top view. So this is an offset question wherein the, so the lamina is resting on VP rather than HP. So we started off by drawing the true shape of the lamina in the front view rather than the top view which we have been doing so far. And we have satisfied each of the criteria. Again we shall go through the rectangular plate, the dimension and resting in VP that has been satisfied in the first position. The second position, the the front, the front view looks like a square that has been satisfied over here and it is resting on one of its shorter edges in VP that has also has been satisfied in the second position and finally the front view looks like a square and the edge on which it rests is inclined at 40 degrees to HP that has been satisfied in the third position. Thank you for your time.